Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared minus y squared, this is equal to 65. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y, given that x and y, these are members of positive integers. So let's provide a solution from here. Now we have x squared, subtract y squared, this is equal to 65. Now, this equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b, multiplied by a minus b. So we can express x squared minus y squared as x plus y, multiplied by x minus y, this is equal to 65. Now, we have that x plus y, this is greater than x minus y. In this case, let's get the prime factors of 65. We have 65 multiplied by 1, this will give us 65. Then we have 1 times 65, this will give us a value of 65. Then we have 5 multiplying by 13, this will give us a value of 65, and then we have 13 multiplying by 5, this will also give us a value of 65. But now we have that x plus y is greater than x minus y, so 65 is greater than 1, so this satisfies the condition here. 1, to, one is less than 65, so this is rejected. 5 is less than 13, so this does not satisfy the condition, so this is rejected. But 13 is greater than 5, so this satisfies the condition. So we have two cases here. This is case 1, and this is case 2. So we have that case 1. Case 1, we have x plus y, multiplied by x minus y, this is equal to 65, multiplied by 1. So this implies that here we have x plus y, this is equal to 65, and we have that x minus y, this is equal to 1. Now these are two system of ring equations. Let's sum these two system of ring equation here, x plus x, so that now, x plus x, this is 2x. Then we have y plus minus y, this simplifies. Then this is equal to 65 plus 1, which is 66. Now let's divide both signs by 2, so that now, we have the value of x here, equal to 66 divided by 2, this is equal to 33. So that now, we have that x plus y, this is equal to 65. Now, let's substitute x here, which is 33. So we have 33 plus y, this is equal to 65. Let's take 33 on the right-hand side, so that now we have y is equal to 65, subtract 33, and this means that y is equal to 32. In case 1 here, we have x is equal to 33 and y is equal to 32. So that means that x comma y, this is equal to 33 comma 32. Now, let's proceed to case 2 from here. Let's proceed to case 2. Now, in case 2, we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y. This is equal to 13 multiplied by 5. So in this case, we have x plus y. This is equal to 13. And we have that x subtract y. This is equal to 5. Now, these are systems of Turing equations. So let's sum these two systems of Turing equations. We have x plus x. This is 2x. y plus minus y. This simplifies. Then 13 plus 5, this is equal to 18. So let's divide both signs by 2. 
so that now we have that x is equal to 18 divided by 2 and this is equal to 9. So we have the value of x as 9. We can solve for the value of y. Remember x plus y, this is equal to 13. So let's substitute x, which is 9. So we have 9 plus y. This is equal to 13. So let's take 9 on the right-hand side so that we have y is equal to 13. Subtract 9. And this implies that y is equal to 13 minus 9, which is equal to 4. So that means that x, comma, y, this is equal to 9, comma, 4. So we have we have two solutions, set of solutions here. That is for case 1 and case 2. Now let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfy. Now we have two set of solutions here. x, y is 33, comma, that's 2. And x, y is 9, comma, 4. So let's verify from here. Now if you recall, if you recall, we have that x to the power of 2 minus y to the power of 2 this should give us a value of 65 let's substitute that 3 and that 2 so we have that 3 raised to the power of 2 minus that 2 raised to the power of 2 this should give us a value of 65 so we have that 3 squared this is equal to 1089. Subtract that 2 squared. And this is equal to 1024. This is supposed to give us a value of 65. So this is 1089 minus 1024. So this implies that here, this is 9 minus 4. This is 5. 8 minus 2, this is 6. So we have 65. So 65 is equal to 65 on the right add side. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. Now let's check for the second set of solution here, which is 9 and 4. So that now, here we have 9 squared minus 4 squared. This is supposed to give us a value of 65. So 9 squared, this is 81, minus 4 squared, this is 16, and this is supposed to give us a value of 65. So we have 81 minus 16, we have 81 minus 16, this is equal to 11 minus 6, this is 5, 7 minus 1, this is 6. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the second set of solution here, which is equal to 9,4, actually satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.